Guy Verhofstadt has launched a surprise attack on the European Union as the political crisis in Belarus rages on. The arch-Europhile has urged Brussels to get a grip of the situation as EU member states fail to agree on sanctions against Belarusian officials. Belarus has been marred by six weeks of widespread protests against President Alexander Lukashenko amid claims his election victory was rigged. The European Union had vowed to impose sanctions on Minsk for alleged election fraud and human rights abuses, something Belarus deny. Despite opposition leader Sviatlana Tikhanovskaya traveling to Brussels, the EU was unable to reach a unanimous decision on what action to take. In a fitting post on International Peace Day, Mr. Verhofstadt, who describes the EU as greatest peace project of our times, has condemned Brussels for failing to find a solution. In a post on Twitter, the Belgian MEP since 2009 wrote, Today's International Day of Peace and the greatest peace project of our times has to roll up its sleeves and end the internal divisions over Belarus. Get a grip, Europe. In another scathing message 24 hours earlier, Mr. Verhofstadt described the behavior of European foreign ministers as scandalous. He said, the outrage against the people of Belarus continues. When do we hit the perpetrators with sanctions? Where are Europe's foreign ministers? Their incapacity to act and take sanctions is scandalous. Brussels is yet to approve a list of 40 Belarusian officials who are set to be hit with travel bans and asset freezes. The EU's top diplomat Josep Borrell, who chaired the meeting of foreign ministers, confirmed there was not an agreement amongst the 27 member states. He said, although there is a clear will to adopt the sanctions, the required unanimity was not reached. Mr. Borrell was confident a consensus would be reached before the next meeting on October 12 and warned there would be consequences for the bloc if there was not. At a press conference, he added, if we are not able to then our credibility is at stake. 